right. Me too. Good to see you. You can come over and sit right here. Great, yeah. thanks. How's your day going? Good. How about you? It's good. Um, Do you have a nice fall break? Yes, very yeah. relaxing. <laughs> All right. So today we're gonna I'm gonna ask you a couple questions just to better know you and your work experience and your educational background. And then I'm going to ask you a couple hypothetical questions to see how well you would fit in with our organization. Okay, sure. Do you have any questions before we start? No. Nope. All right, great. Um, so I see that you're a communication studies major. Have you taken any classes while you've been at the University of Portland that you think could apply to this job position? Um, yes, I've taken a few. Um, See, the first class I took was just a general 101 communication class to kind of get the groundwork in um, the theories and so you can move up to the upper levels. Um, this semester I am taking a public speaking class so that I can be a public communicator as well as um, you know, work with people individually. And I'm also taking an intro to business etiquette type class um, where we learn kind of how to be an interview, interviewer and interviewee. And, um, it's really helpful kind of getting the practice of sitting down and talking you know, publicly and just with an interviewer one-on-one -on -one so that I can go out and, and do this kind of thing. Yeah, that's great. Um, okay, so as part of like the job you are applying for, we want someone who's pretty good at developing brochures. Um, how comfortable are you with Microsoft Office? Um, very comfortable. Um, obviously, use it a lot in school, PowerPoint presentations, um, as well as I worked at Godiva. It's the last job that I had over the summer. And we have an obscene amount of sales, probably the sales change every week to two weeks, and we have to print up the big sales. We had our biggest one was the chocolate bar sale. They go on sale and people kind of go crazy, but we print up these flyers and have to pass them out. I worked in a mall, so to all the employees in the mall and kind of try and get it out. Um, so. Microsoft Office played a huge part in that, uh, graphic design, adding images, yeah. and kind of doing that whole thing. Okay, so um, you mentioned you're you working at Godiva. Um, do you think that, have you had to plan any events for them? Like, have you done any, I guess, chocolate parties for people? Or? <laughs> um, I've never, we haven't um, planned any events. We have people come in, though, who are event coordinators who want okay. our business. Um, we have, because we're a mall, so lots of people walking through. Um, we had a guy this summer who was like, it, he did uh, big birthday parties and they you know, would put Godiva's name out and so we had to work with them and see if they were interested, if they're a good client, work with them. Okay, so then um, if you were to have to say plan an event for the soccer athletes that are at our recruit combine, um, what do you think would be one of the first things you would do to go about planning the event and getting everything organized? Hmm. Well, um, definitely seeing the type of, well, obviously soccer equipment, <coughs> kind of where they're from, um, what their background is with soccer, how experienced they are, kind of get to know the kids that will be at the camp, and then I will be able to go from there, knowing what their experience is and how much they already know, and then I can develop kind of a program for what they can do at our camp and how their skills can be better improved. Great. Um, okay, so I'm going to ask you two hypothetical questions. Uh, you're planning an event and your manager doesn't agree with what you're trying to do. How would you go about with advocating it for yourself and handling that situation? Hmm. I had, the time I worked to Godiva, for the first three months I worked there, I just had a manager and I loved him. He, we um, all had a system, the manager and the lower level employees. Mm -hmm. We worked really well together. Um, the about third month I worked there, our assistant manager came back and um, she had her own way of doing things, and we didn't necessarily always see eye to eye, but I found that if she didn't, you know, she would usually like to immediately um, disregard my decision, but, you know, I would show her through my work, and, you know, you know using examples of, you know, this is, this is gonna work because, look, it's worked in the past, or, you know, I've, this customer, you know, showing her more than telling her because she, she did play, you know, we, we weren't necessarily most compatible with people, but it worked in an environment, in a job environment. You gotta make it work, so. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, and now I'm going to give you our job description, which is the job you are applying for. And um, seeing as we want someone who's also able to conduct an interview, um, could you ask me a question based off of the job description? Yeah. Um, one second, let me read it through. Okay, so as, um, as the collegiate soccer recruitment combined um, specialist, you, know, you coordinate, your job is to coordinate um, 
the events in, in this camp and figure out you know what's best for these students. Um, how would you go about figuring out the, dif uh, the different types of students and, and what um, is, how would you go about finding out the different uh, yeah, everyone has their own food types and you know what different personalities. Yes, different personalities, exactly, and you know, and make it work as a whole unit, you know. You're, you're in a camp together. How would you make the different personalities work as one? Okay. Um, so that's a great question. Could you now answer it? Yes. Um, let's see. Well, like I said earlier, um, finding out about each kid and you know where their background, their previous experience with sports, you know, what their what their allergies are, um, you know, kind of getting to know each kid. I assume, you know, we'll probably have counselors and mm -hmm. Um, designated people to get that done, and I will, you know, through that, like I said earlier, um, make it the best environment for them. Okay, great. Um, last question. Based off of the last group that you worked with, it could be at your work or at a class presentation project. Um, what? How did you feel about the dynamics of the group? Did you guys work well together? Was there any problems? Yeah, that's that's a great question. I um, I loved my last job at Godiva. It's just a great, um, it was a great overall experience because that dynamic was kind of weird. My boss was a 65-year-old man. He had seven children and probably five or six grandkids, and he was not good with customers. He would, you know, we, and we knew that as he hired us, knowing that we were friendly girls. Lots of us were girls selling chocolate. You know, as a woman, is probably easier, but um, sometimes. But he was not good at customers, so he would. He would, uh, we, we knew as a unit that we were, you know, if Terry was approached at his computer by a customer, um, we would try and come over immediately and kind of help the customer ourselves because he was frustrated. He would get frustrated as well. He's an older man. And um, it, it was interesting because, and then, you know, when that assistant manager came in, it did throw off kind of the balance that was already established and we had to keep kind of configuring it. But it was really, it was cool in a way that, you know, as the hiring manager, he hired us for a specific job that we all did very well. Great. All right. Well, I've really appreciated you coming in and letting me ask you a couple questions to better know yourself. We talked about, um, I asked you a couple questions to get better know you and your education and work experience, and then I asked you a couple hypothetical questions to see if you would be a good fit for our company. Um, do you have any questions for me? Let's see. Um, well, I, um, I like that, you know, you're a camp, so going off of the kind of different types of kids, um, do you, you know, cater to a certain group of athletes or certain schools or? Um, yeah, right now we are catering more toward um, soccer players at the junior, senior level of high school as they're getting ready to go off into their collegiate career. Um, because we are based out right now at the University of Portland, we do cater to more schools in the West Coast, but we have had plenty of schools from the Midwest and the East Coast, such as Creighton and Duke, um, come in and we've had a couple of athletes who have gone off to those colleges. So um, we are only a couple of years old and we hope to keep doing what we're doing and um, look forward to making some new changes and getting more athletes. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you.